Welcome everybody to the kitchen. I'm working on some yummy chili verde. Now I actually made my own chili verde here. I've given you a recipe of how to make it from scratch, but what I actually did was canned it. I do a lot of canning, self-preservation. I love having food ready. This is also a way that I meal prep for things so that I have meals on the shelf that I can just go open up a can like I did of black beans, add them into the chili verde here, and now I'm just going to let these actually come up to a simmer and cook for about 10 minutes, uh, and they're ready to go. And so I have my black beans, I have my chili verde, I have my Mexican rice chips, and I'm working on over here the salsa, but first I wanted to show you the difference here between the chili verde. All I did, this is a ball, the ball recipe from the ball book, it's very easy. You build everything in the can itself, in the bottle, and then per the USDA, you process them under pressure so that you get the chili verde that's safe on the shelf. And then you can just take it out, open it up, use it as needed. This one hasn't been processed yet. This one has been processed and it's ready to go onto the shelf. This one, I'll process it up today. As far as a boiled salsa, simple idea here, just a little different way to do salsas. You take your tomatillas, tomatoes, jalapenos, whatever you're gonna add to your salsa, you put it in a pot of hot water, bring it to a boil. Once the skin split on the tomatoes, you just take them out, put them into your blender, and you're going to blend them. To that, you're going to add a bunch of cilantro. I had a lot of people asking me about the blender. It's Blendtec. That's the blender. I love it because it's quiet on TV, plus it's just quiet. Also to that, I'm going to add some lime juice, cumin, and salt and pepper to taste. When we come back, guys, we'll put it all together for some delicious chili verde burritos. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome back, guys. Let's finish up these chili burritos. What do you think? Let's okay. do it. And you got to say, chili verde burrito. <laughs> I love it. I would Hispanic spit all over burrito. the newscast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course you were, Ron. Of course you were. <laughs> all right, so a couple of quick things. Now, I get these great big tortillas over at the Mexican store. So you can find them there, or just use your regular tortillas um, when you're doing it. Now, here's the trick. Take some sour cream and spread it onto there. Uh, that is kind of my little trick on that. And then here's the just the rice and the chili verde that we're gonna put onto there. I have the beans in there as well. Let's add some of that Mexican rice into there. This is gonna be a big burrito. This is a Lindsay-sized burrito, you know. She loves Mexican food. All right, and then once you get that, you're gonna fold it up like you do a burrito, come around, pull back, fold the sides in, fold the sides in there, make sure they're kind of straight across all the way down. Take that and roll it up. There we go, delicious, delicious. So that's ready to go. Now I have one that's rolled here also with all the fixings and I'm gonna take my fresh salsa and the recipe here, there really is no recipe. It's just you're gonna take the salsa, you're gonna boil the tomatoes and the tomatillos, the jalapenos, I did uh, until their skins are boiling, I, you know, peeling away on it. Put them in a blender, don't forget to put the lid on it. Ah, you missed that everybody, whoo, that was a mess. And turn it on, blend it up with some cilantro, cumin, salt and pepper. And there are not pepper if you don't like pepper in it. Put some cheese on there. I'm also gonna add some queso fresco on there, wherever that is here. You can put some lettuce, you can put some tomatoes, some avocados on top for garnish. Whatever you so choose. I have chips that will serve with it as well. And voila, we have a delicious chili verde burrito that anybody is going to love. Head on over to KUTV.com. You can grab the recipe there or cookingwithchefbrian.com and you can grab it there. You have a three pound burrito. <laughs> it is. It's a wrong burrito. Yeah, I won't have to eat for three days after that. Yeah, that looks awesome.